Over here, the problem is in the figure above, segment BE bisects angle DBC. If something bisects something, what that means, it cuts it in half. So let me bring a, a different color pen out here. So see how it's saying this angle DBC right here? And it's saying BE bisects it, so that means BE cuts it in half. So if this is 50, that means that this one right here must be 50 degrees as well. Okay, so that's one key thing. The next thing is you need to know that all the angles on a straight line must add up to 180. So if this is 50 and this is 50, that means that this whole thing is 100. So that means that this missing angle must be 80. Because that way, all these three angles right here on this line add up to 180. Okay? So question now, let's figure out the question. The question is, what is the measure, measure of angle ABF? Angle ABF is right here. Now, uh, let's see what else we can figure out. See how DBA is 80? That means that FBC must be 80 as well because these are vertical angles. So this one and this one, they're opposite, meaning that they're vertical angles. Now, if this is 80 and this is 80, and if that, sorry, if that doesn't connect, check this out too. See how there's a straight line right here too? Line DBF, and all these angles must be 180. So if this is 50, this is 50, this must be 80. Now the question is saying, what is the measure of angle ABF? If BCF, sorry, if CBF is 80, that means that ABF must be 100 because these two angles right here must add up to 180, and that's why this answer is B.